one. And now we don't want to call df.show, or we can even leave it here. We want to call, I wanted to show you df.print schema, which is, which is a method which is defined on a data frame as well. And what it does is basically print the schema of the data frame to the command line. And if I execute this one now, we can see the, the types of the columns which we have uh, loaded from the CSV file. Now <clears throat> it has completed and down here we see we have a column which is called date and it's of the type string and it's nullable which basically specifies whether this column can contain null values or not. And then we have also the open close, high low prices and so on. And now what we note is that all of the types of the columns are of type string. That's why, that's because a ZSV file is basically a text file. So Spark will assume everything to be a text. However, as you can see from the values, the, the date column, for example, uh, is actually of a date format. So we can also represent it in the uh, date type for a column. And the open, high, close and low prices are actually doubles. And we wanted to uh, we wanted Spark to actually infer these types correctly rather than assume that all of them are actually of type string. And therefore, there's another option which is called infer schema. And by default, it's set by, by default, it's set to false as well. And that's because inferring the schema actually requires Spark to actually scan over all of the rows so that it can infer the correct data type. So it involves a overhead in execution time if we wanted to infer the schema out automatically. However, for demonstration purposes, I would like to show you that we can specify the infer schema option the same way as we did the header option. Now, if we pass in the second option here, Spark will actually try to load the um, columns or infer the data types for the columns by scanning through the entire CSV file. And actually it needs to scan the entire CSV file because there could be one single row which is of a different type. So if we had one, one, one value in our date column, which is of type string, it wouldn't be able to infer this, the type date for this column. However, now we can see that our date has become of data type date. Uh, the open, low, high and close prices are of data type double, um, as well as the adjacent close price and the volume is of type integer. Please go ahead and try the infer schema option in your project.